Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Mad Tycoon here. Just want to show you guys how to uh, run a really powerful screens offense. Um, there's really good blocking tight ends for cheap, like Zach Ertz is good. Uh, we'll pick one up for 2200 just to try them out. There's also some really good speed receivers like uh, JJ Nelson. So we'll go pick one of those up too. This guy's only 500 coins. And he'll give you 92 speed with 81 catching. So we're going to put these guys in our lineup. Just so I can show you that you don't need a big expensive team to uh, do this challenge. So we'll go ahead and uh, put in Earths for Whitlock here. And then we'll go ahead and put JJ Nelson in our lineup as well. Um, John Brown's pretty cheap as well if you're looking for just speed wide receivers. Uh, looks like Nelson's already in our lineup actually. All right. So let's go try this out. We're going to go to. Um, we're going to go to the 600 yards in one game challenge. And I'll show you an easy way to beat this. So let's see here. We're going to go to the gauntlet. We're going to go to passing. We're going to see how many yards we can get on a single drive. So the one thing to keep in mind with these challenges is they give you a goal, but they don't tell you you have to win the game or anything like that. They just say beat this specific goal. So I'm going to try and show you the easiest way to do that. So I'll show you the setup as soon as we get in the game here. All right, so we need 600 yards or more and we can't allow 300 yards. So the first thing I wanna do is we're gonna start with the ball on the 20 yard line. So we want as much room as possible. So we're gonna set up this formation with a bunch of like backup tight ends and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and put the tight ends we're not going to use out there. So we'll put Stevens out there. These are really good blocking tight ends if you get some more coins. And then we'll just put a bunch of like backup linemen out there. So that our linemen don't get tired. Um, let's find a timeout here. We want to be able to set all this up. So basically, you just want to put a bunch of like backups in this formation so you don't get your main guys tired. So we'll put Streif in there. I think we need to find one more person here. I think I can put Glenn here. Okay. So I think these are all backups. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves more real estate here. So we're going to actually run backwards on the first play. Um, so let's try it. We're going to run backwards to the five-yard line. Try to get out of bounds so we don't actually like fumble it. Right, that'll give us some room to work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our gun formation. Empty tray flex. You want to put a blocking tight end uh, in the slot on the right. So in this case, we're going to use the Zach Ertz we just got for cheap. Uh, you probably want your best receiver here. So we're going to use AJ Green. Um, you probably go with something like a Vincent Jackson if you're on a budget. Uh, let's go ahead and put our JJ Nelson here and then Lane Johnson is a really good blocking uh, tackle you can put at fullback or at tight end 
Um, so we're going to use him too. I think you can pick up Elaine Johnson for about 15k. He's not very expensive. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to run wide receiver screen. And we're going to start on the left side just to show you <clears throat> the Ertz and the Nelson. Again, we just saw you can get those cards for like, you know, 3k. So they're in man coverage. So we're going to go to Y. And Y is wide open up the middle. Try to just barely get the first down. I don't think we got it. I think we're short. So I think the move here then is to just pick up this first down. So we'll get out of our run formation. We'll choose something like HB Blast. <clears throat> and we got pretty good blocks. So you don't want to get too many more yards. You just want to barely get the first down. We got about five extra yards. All right, now we've got a first down. So again, let's just run backwards. Now keep in mind, it doesn't say how many rushing yards you have to get. It's only pass yards. So you can get as many negative rushing yards as you want. So we're just going to run backwards. Hopefully get out of bounds again here. And now we're back at the five. So we got negative 40 rushing yards right now. Doesn't affect us at all. So we're going to get out our gun formation again. So again, we got Zach Ertz out there, Lane Johnson, Jordy Nelson. Drop back this time they're in zones. So we'll actually throw it over this time. So watch the blocks. And you can just run around the guys, see if you get a lucky stiff arm. That time we didn't. All right. And then you can run this to the other side. So you want a speed receiver on the other side. We're using Will Fuller. He's a good uh, maybe 10, 12K. Pretty cheap for his 91 speed. So we'll get up field and then we'll just barely get this first down. Run out of bounds. <clears throat> All right, so now we got another fresh set of downs. We already got 66 yards. So now we're going to run backwards to the five again. Because again, it doesn't matter how many rushing yards you get. So we're going to run backwards. Should build it pretty easily. Now, the one thing you'll notice, too, is that their defense is getting really tired. So the more tired they get, the easier it'll be for our, our fresh guys here. See, I think all these guys are pretty much fresh. They're going to be able to set up the screen again. So again, they're in zone. So again, we can go to our screen. And we missed a couple blocks that time. We'll see if we can hurry up and go the other way now. This time they're in man. So we got to go to Y. And he didn't get a good step. So now we got to go front on fourth down. we got a long way to go. You always want to run this play to the side of the field with more space, too. So if you're barely on the left, you want to run it to the right. And man again. So hopefully he gets open. No, we got stopped that time. The other good thing about staying on your own side of the field is um, if you get stopped, you can go ahead and just let them score because they're only going to get 44 yards out of this. So just line up in like a pump block or something. Because the one thing that's key is just making sure you have a lot of time here. So we're just going to line up and pump, up, pump block and let him throw for a touchdown here. So hit as he throws. He's got it. We're just going to let him score. <clears throat> All right, so they got 44 yards. Go ahead and try to block this kick here. for kicks and again the score doesn't matter either so you can let them you can literally let them be like 49 to nothing as long as they don't get 300 yards it doesn't matter so again we're gonna take the kick we're gonna run it back to the five yard line just run out of bounds so we'll take Tavon or him down to the five and yeah, that's close enough and again we're just gonna get out our screening package here Then we go into zone again. Nice block by Lane Johnson. <clears throat> so again, we've already got over 100 yards on just one drive so far. So again, let's just run it back to the five.
right, let's run another screen. Again, we got zone. Oh, look at that block by Johnson. He's just killing people. See, they're starting to get really tired on defense now. So now we can get this play to work almost every time for as many yards as we want. Because as soon as they get really exhausted on defense, we can basically run it at will. <clears throat> so again, we're going to run backwards. 20, 10, 5. Set up screen, good blocks. We should be able to run past this guy now. Because again, 500 coin car, but he's got 92 speed, so you can just run past anyone. Oh, they can give us the first down though. We got a bad spot. So again, let's try to gra grab one yard here. And we don't want too many yards here because we want to see how many yards we can get on each drive. All right, first and 10 again. So all we got to do is run backwards to the five again. 30, 20, 10, five. And pretty good blocks. Try to juke this guy. Got him beat. He's out of bounds. <clears throat> okay. Run it backwards again. Forty, thirty, twenty, ten, five. Now they're in man, so we go to Y instead. And we'll try to get him out of bounds. That's an effort referee did. <clears throat> so already we're up to 273 yards and we've only had the ball twice so far so 50 40 30 20 10 5 whoa two i almost ran too far that time <laughs> So you got to be really careful not to take a sack now if you accidentally run a little too far. So again, we're switching plays every two plays with completely different personnel. So, oh, he almost knocked me in the end, though. So they should be getting really tired out there. And our guys are still fresh because we're switching to different, completely different personnel packages every play. So let's see if we can beat them on the right side this time. This time it looks like, man, so we're going to go to AJ. Ooh, we tried to possession it. And we're not going to get another playoff here. So we're just going to wait till here. So now we need 48 yards. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. And unfortunately, I think the quarter will refresh their defense a little bit. Um, but if we turn the ball over on our own 24, it's not that big a deal. Because, again, we... They can only hurt us with yards. They can't hurt us with points. We want to set them up with as short a field as possible. It's the opposite of normal football here. They got a zone. Let's see if we get enough blocks. We did, but I couldn't get to them. All right. So now they only get 24 yards out of this. So again, might as well let them have 24 yards so we can get the ball back faster.
All right, so easy touchdown for them. They're 14 nothing. But again, score doesn't matter. Like they only have 66 yards. So they'd have to get like 10 touchdowns for it to matter. Let's see if I block a kick too. All right, so we have almost eight more minutes in the half to finish this challenge, let alone the game. We got about 16 minutes total. All right, so again, we're going to try and run this kick return out of bounds at the five. That was not very good. <laughs> we'll take it though. So we'll drop back, looks like zone, throw the ball. Got a good block, we're out of bounds. So now I only need about 300 more yards. Hopefully we won't need one more drive. Hopefully we can do it all on this drive. They should be tired enough to where we can almost do this at will now. We're gonna, ooh, you almost watched it, but we still had a bounce to the five, that's good. Again, you always want to run the side, the screen to the side with more space. So if you're on the right hash, go to the left. If you're on the left hash, go to the right. Drop back. We got zone again. Wait for them to get out and make their blocks. Ooh. Not much doing there. We're going to try the other side here. Again, we got zone. Good blocks this time. All right, we got one more shot here, fourth and nine. All right, this time we got our, oh, we didn't get our blocks. Oh, but he's, oh, nice move. <laughs> uh, JJ put the moves on him, nice play. All right. So again, our running setup's completely fresh. So we'll just run that straight back to the five. Doesn't hurt to pick up some extra speed wide receivers because um, they will start to tire a little bit. We can try to sub in uh, John Brown. He's probably like a 3K card. We'll give him a couple reps here. Okay, again, this is man. So now we can go to Y. If we can break the tackle, we can get it right here. And here I'm just holding on to the football because I'm not trying to break that tackle. So here we go again, just run it backwards. 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. There's also some better blockers than Ertz, too. Ertz is probably just the cheapest good blocker. Um, let's try Delaney Walker. He's probably the best blocking tight end other than the 95 Gronk. Uh, we'll sub him in for a little bit and see how he does. So again, we got man, try to wait for AJ to get open. Oh, we dropped the ball. Okay. So we'll try again. Hopefully they won't man up this time. This time it's zone. This time we're getting much better blocks from Delaney here. John couldn't quite run by that guy. Let's see if we can get on the other side here. Let's see, we're up to 400 yards already. We haven't even passed midfield. <laughs> and we got zone. Again, we got blocks. Just follow the blocks. Get out of bounds. Get the first down. So it's looking like if we don't get stopped on fourth down, we can get it on this drive without doing anything crazy. So 
couple 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Close enough. Oh, I called down play. <sighs> Oh, look at that block. All right, we're down to, we just need 109 more yards. So probably two more first downs will do it. Forty, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Do some good blocks again. If we make a move on this guy, ah, nice tackle. Now we need 91 yards. Now we got man. Fourth and 40. Let's see if we can pick this up. This would be huge. Zone this time. Uh, I ran into my own guy, and I didn't get a juke or anything good out of that. All right. So let's let him score one more touchdown here. All right, so let them have that. So they've only got like 119 yards right now, even though we let them score three easy touchdowns. Ooh, I almost got in there. All right, so let's just go ahead and receive this kick at the five. Now we don't need that many more yards, so we can just run. We don't have to worry about running backwards anymore once we get this out to the five. So again, let's make sure we get as big a field as possible here. All right, and then we'll just run this play to the right. Zone coverage, let our blocks develop. Get out with Fuller, run right by that guy, and that should do it. So yeah, that's basically how you pass the uh, the 600 passing yards solo. Um, wait, we didn't pass it yet? I thought that would have done it. Does that count as passing yards? There we go. So that's it. That's all you got to do. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.